You got a lot of fans on the internet. You got a lot of fans. I owe you. I do owe you, Marlon. Someone interesting is meeting me at my office this morning. I don't know him, never met him before, but this is his legacy, ready? He took the most liked picture in the history of Instagram. That's kind of amazing. 2.5 million likes. You took this photo? I did, <laughs> I did. <laughs> that exactly, is... exactly a year ago today. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Take, how did you be in a position to take the most liked Instagram photo? Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> it just happened. I got asked the day before the wedding. Do you know uh, Kim and Kanye? Never met them before that before, no. Were a... they happy with your photography? They, they, yeah, they were very happy. Um, I spoke to Kim after a few weeks after and she was very, very happy. How has it impacted your career? A lot. I'm, I'm now the guy that took the most liked photo ever on Instagram, so uh, people know who I am now in the industry and stuff, they've got my name out there. My cameras were all charged, all ready to go, <laughs> as it was, and then I was out the door. Incredible. <laughs> Yeah? Cool, yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Can I see? Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks great. There's a bunch of them. Awesome, man. Thanks for being fast. You are, you're good. <laughs> Connor, so good to meet you. You too. Thanks I'll for coming by. Yeah. I hope to see you soon. I will do. It smells like weed out yeah, here. I can smell that too. Pretty Wanna. strong smell. <laughs> Dude, safe Pleasure. travels. I will do. Have fun with Calvin Harris. I will do. <laughs> see you later. See you later. One of my favorite things about what I do for a living is that I always get to meet interesting new people. Oh, Jesus! You want to try and ride it down the hallway? Sure, it looks dangerous. It's very dangerous. All right, good luck, Owen. You can do it. The floor is uneven. I don't think that's your problem. It makes it harder. Okay, just a full disclosure. Connor the photographer and Owen on the unicycle. That, that happened yesterday, um, but I couldn't fit it in yesterday's vlog, so I thought I'd put it in today's vlog. But since today's vlog doesn't play until tomorrow anyways, does it matter that yesterday's content is in today for tomorrow's vlog? I can't keep track of this stuff. All right, which, which of these lenses is preferable? This one or, or is this lens better? I feel like that's a little bit, no, go with the other one. Okay, per usual, every Tuesday afternoon is Q&A time where you guys tweet me questions, post questions below, email questions, whatever, and I try to answer them. Here we go. Connor wants to know, can you imagine living, working somewhere that isn't New York in the future? Totally. Um, Candace and I talk a lot about moving to Los Angeles. I feel like I've mentioned that in this vlog before. Maybe not. Tillman wants to know, what was your first camera and when did you get it? Hold tight, Tillman. This was my first video camera. That's what it looks like. Uh, it's broken in every which way. It was like $1,700 and it was so expensive, I couldn't pay for it with one credit card. I had to use multiple credit cards, all of which I maxed out to buy this thing. Nina. Question from my dad, who's a new fan. Welcome, Nina's dad. What has been your biggest failure? Uh, Nina's dad, I made a whole vlog called My Biggest Failure. Here, I'll link it for you right here. Save me a whole bunch of... Lynn asks, what's your opinion on bullying? Lynn, I don't know that people can have an opinion on bullying. People are either unequivocally against bullying or people are wrong. I loathe bullying. I can't stand bullying. Hurt people, hurt people. As in if someone is hurt, then they'd make it their mission to hurt other people. And that's who bullies are. When someone bullies me by saying something malicious in the comments or wherever, I just block them from this YouTube channel. I want them out of my life. And I think that's, that's 
kind of an analogy for life in general. If someone is negative, if someone is a bully, to stay as far away from them as possible. And something that my big brother Van used to say, which is really true and really harsh, their life is their punishment. If someone is really negative, believe me when I say they'll have a horrible life ahead of them. And that horrible life is their punishment for being such a negative, hurtful person. How would you feel if Owen got a girl pregnant? That's a weird question. Elizabeth wants to know, are you a Taylor Swift fan? Of course I'm a Taylor Swift fan. What kind of a monster isn't a Taylor Swift fan? Aiden asks, if you could go back in time, what advice would you give your 20 year old self? Don't listen to anyone. That's what I'd tell myself. Do you think it's better to plan out your future all the way through or just play it by ear and see what happens? I apologize if I've said this in the vlog before, I can't remember. And this also isn't my original idea. Someone else told this to me, but it's great. It was a great piece of advice that I'm happy to share. I believe in something called the Tarzan method. And what that means is, you are Tarzan, me Tarzan. Starting on this side of the jungle, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, they're the other side of the jungle. And there's no straight line through the jungle. You know what, let me do an animation for you here. The Tarzan method. What that means is you're Tarzan, you're here. And you want to get to the other side of the jungle here. Ideally there's this straight line. But what you find in life, what I've found in life, this is non-existent. This straight line here is a unicorn. It doesn't exist. Instead, you reach and you grab onto whatever vine you can grab onto and you swing. And that vine might carry you in this direction, which doesn't feel like the right direction of your goal but it does get you a little bit closer. And then you grab onto another vine, it swings you all the way over here, a little bit closer. And then you swing in this direction, and then this direction, and 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 eventually you make it to where you wanna be. But the beauty of the Tarzan method, the kind of the magic of being open-minded in your pursuit, is that like these unknowns, like where it might take you that you didn't imagine, that's usually where you find something that is actually what your goals are. I don't believe that there is a straight line between where you are and where you want to be in life ever. Not with family, not with romantic interests, and especially not with your career. So an open-mindedness, even if it looks like this, will yield results and outcomes that otherwise would have been unforeseeable. Okay, I'm ending the Q&A there because it's a thousand degrees in this office because the air conditioning because the air conditioner is broken. Candace just texted me. She's going to get her nails done this evening. So, dad's in charge of baby bath and putting the baby to bed. I love these nights.